Welcome to Know Your Basics. I'm Know Your Mac and I'm going to be walking you through a few fundamentals about your Macintosh computer that you really need to know to operate your computer successfully. Let's just jump right into the first tutorial. We're going to be taking a look at our dock. The dock is at the bottom of our screen by default and that's where all our applications that we want to be in there are stored. Not every application is in there but if you'd like to add or remove applications you can just drag them in or out of the dock. You can arrange them as well, just drag them to wherever you need. So let's look at a few of the options we have with our dock. I'm going to go into System Preferences, and next I'm going to click on Dock. You'll see a few little settings here. So first we see the size. If we drag around the size, we notice that it will get bigger or larger depending on where we scale it to. Magnification can help you if you really want to zoom in on the icon that you're hovering over. Let's turn that on. You'll see that as soon as my cursor snaps to the dock, the icon maximizes. Now we can minimize this effect as well. Just drag the slider and it won't zoom necessarily as much. Next we have position on screen, whether it be left, bottom, or right. If we turn it to the left or the right, we lose that 3D effect of the dock, but it still looks pretty nice. I'm going to keep mine on the bottom. Next we have minimize windows using. We have two different effects for this, the genie or the scale effect. The genie is the default. When we minimize, it almost gets sucked into the dock like a straw. If we change it to the scale effect, it gets progressively smaller as it goes into it. Now let's also look at minimize windows into application icon. What happens there is when we minimize it, instead of jumping to the right over here, it jumps into the application. This is pretty nice, however, if you have multiple windows minimized for the same application, all of them will be open when you click on the application icon. We also have animate opening applications. So for example, if I load up Safari, you'll see it bounces up in my dock. If we turn that off, the icon beneath Safari will just flash instead of bouncing up and down. Lastly, we have automatically hide and show the dock. When we originally click that, we'll see that our dock is gone. However, if we put our cursor all the way towards the bottom of the screen, it pops back up again. Then when we leave, it slides back down. This is very handy if you need a lot of space on your screen, especially if you have quite a small screen. Play around with these settings however you like and see however you want your dock to be.